on tap, Sly Ride Porter. Hi, I'm James Knott and this is your Better Beer Authority. Thanks to Joshua West from Cane Ridge, Tennessee for sending us today's beer. Sly Rye Porter from the Yazoo Brewing Company in Nashville. I'm excited to feature this beer on the show because I've actually been there and had this beer on tap at the brewery. The Yazoo Brewing Company was opened in 2003 by Linus Hall and his wife Lila. They began bottling in 2005 and moved to a new location with a 40 barrel brew house in 2010. You can find their beers in Tennessee, Mississippi, and Northern Alabama. Sly Rye Porter is 5.7% ABV and 28 IBUs. The brewery describes the beer as rich, chocolatey English porter with a clean finish. It is brewed with Maris Otter malts from England and malted rye, which gives it a spicy, slightly dry finish, according to Yazoo. Let the blind taste test begin. Chef. Yes, sir. What kind of flavors are you getting out of this beer? You know, I, I, I get a, a caramely kind of sweetness. I get a, a little hint of breadiness if I really, really kind of gargle it. Um, but other than that, it's you know it kind of goes it fizzles out pretty quickly. Uh, I mean, it's kind of so. dark. Is it roasted? Yeah, I, I mean, I can get a, get a hint of that, but I I think that the caramely sweetness is the first thing that touches my tongue. And again, if I kind of swish it around a little bit more, I'll get some more of that roastiness. But uh, pretty, it, it's dark, but it's it's there's not a lot of uh, creaminess or mouthfeel to it. Okay, uh, Corey. Are you pulling out any aromas out of this beer? Not a lot of aroma. I mean, just a, a little bit of caramel, but otherwise it seems pretty flat and neutral. Yeah. And what about like the mouthfeel on it, like how carbonated it is? Uh, not very carbonated. It's almost like a flat diet pop almost. It's quickly off your palate. Okay. Scott, what are your overall impressions of this beer? What does uh, it seem like to you? I mean, from first impressions from looking at it, I'm expecting to pick it up and, it, and well, just kind of looking down, you can see that it's a little bit clearer than, you know, just a, a stout or anything like that. I, I would assume that it was a black lager, and I'm still thinking it might be, but it's a really low ABV one. Uh, I can smell the kind of the coffee, roasted, like kind of the coffee notes, and that's the one thing I wish it had more of. I think that it may be a little bit more enjoyable if it had a little bit more of that flavor and a little bit more of that smell to it, but you can tell that they were going for something there. Mm -hmm. Well, what they were going for is this is a rye porter, ah. and it's in the 5 to 6% range on alcohol. Okay. So knowing that and what they're going for and how it appeals to you, Chef, yeah. what is your rating on this one? You know, I'm going to give this a, a 6. Uh, I, I don't think that it, you know, the ryeness, uh, you know, that that rye breadiness. I don't. I'm not getting a lot of that spiciness to it. Like not. If you... I mean, I get I get some, but not not enough. I mean, considering I, I I do like I like like the the rye ales and stuff like that. I mean, this is a porter, which is a little bit different. But yeah, I mean, I don't I don't get a lot of that that spiciness or anything like that. I get a little bit of roasty. Uh, a little bit of that caramely flavor. Yeah. Corey, what is your rating, and do you think this makes for a good session beer? I would go with a five for this beer, and the only reason I'd say yes for a session beer is because it's light, but you, you almost have to constantly be drinking it to get any kind of flavor or mouthfeel like out of it. That sounds a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it could be, but it's surprising that it's five to six percent. Um, and as much as this, easy as this goes down, that could be kind of dangerous. Sounds like a good commercial. Yeah. This beer, you should constantly be drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good when you're constantly drinking it. I mean, uh, for 5 to 6%, I mean, that's a little bit lower than most of the beers you go for, Scott. Because uh, you're a a lush. <laughs> I'm just saying, this guy likes some high-gravity ales. Yeah. I'm a lover of fine, crafty beer. Uh, so for you, would this be like a good session beer? Or? Yeah, I think it is. I'd probably give it a seven. Uh, it's interesting that it's a porter. I would have never guessed it. I guess to me it tastes like kind of a watered-down porter. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, because I have a feeling what they were going for 
specifically was a sessionable porter, and I don't know if this is well, a seasonal. Well, you might be thinking of like a robust porter, which would be like a bigger bodied porter. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, think something with smoky. more coffee. Yeah, yeah. it's smoky. Mm -hmm. Something yeah, just that's usually what I think of a porter. Yeah, so it just I could have gone with a lager with this also. Yeah, it, it yeah. just seems a little bit watered down. Not in a bad way. I mean, and when I say that again, it seems like more of a sessionable one that you really could, like you said, sit down and drink at a ball game. And I don't know if this is a seasonal, if they only do this around the springtime or not, but it seems like a probably a pretty smart idea if they were specifically <clears throat> brewing this for this time of year. Okay. Well, let me reveal the beer. From Nashville, Tennessee, we have Yazoo Sly Rye Porter. Uh, this was sent to us by a viewer of the BBA. He really wanted us to have some. So here we are. Thanks for sending it to us. Um, I was actually at this brewery uh, when I was in Nashville for a wedding, and this was the one beer that I had while I was there. So it was a I mean, I think big it, coincidence that it was sent to us. I guess it, you know if if you had if you had the, the, your standard like I, I mean at a wedding if you had your standard light up and this was one of them or you know w one of the more interesting ones I would probably go for a multiple of these because it it does have a little bit more flavor than your standard wedding beer of you know the Bud Lights and the Miller Lights right. of the world but you know I don't I don't know that. I would really, really go out of my way and say, man, everybody needs to have this beer. Um, that I, I, I still, again, I, I stick firm to my, my six because of that. I mean, I think this so is... You, a, would this have, is a, you would drink it and be... I drink it, yeah. If, I mean, if, if, again, if I was at a wedding or if I was at anybody's house and everybody said, hey, dude, try this Sly Rye, I'd probably put back six of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, over the course of a... You know, Name a beer that you wouldn't do that with. I mean, I wouldn't do that with, with a 10% beer. I mean, you know, I... I've seen uh, you do that with a 10% beer. Not six of them. Put one <laughs> six, I couldn't, I couldn't die. have six. <laughs> uh, Corey, you gave it a five, which usually implies, like, once you were done with this beer, you, you'd move on. You so know, I, that's kind of your thoughts on that? That are my thoughts. Um, R is, you know. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I could drink more of this beer, but I, I was going to say I, I like the Sly Rye because it really is appropriate because, I mean, the yeah, flavor just sort of, yeah, it's, yeah, it, it just it, sort of passes it, you by real quick. I, I, and I guess I, I do agree with that. I think that's, you know, that's, a, that's good marketing because it's very Sly Rye. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can eat very faint rye characteristics. Right. To it's it. changing as we drink it, too. As it gets warmer, it is changing in pro profile a little bit. And Maybe I feel like we should have drank it a little bit warmer. I'm almost <laughs> out. So. Anybody have any more? No. <laughs> Man, dang it. <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee. Savor it. Savor it. Savor uh, it. Scott, what is, your, what is your big picture on this one? I think it's a good beer. I think uh, seven's a good number for it for me, and I think it's with maybe a little bit of an asterisk in that, yeah, I'm not telling everyone in the world needs to go out and try this beer, but I think that... Uh, well, first of all, I guess obviously if you like rye beer, which I do, so it wasn't off-putting to me. There's nothing off-putting about this beer at all. So there's nothing negative about it other than I think it could be more. Maybe they could even make it an 8 or a 9. <clears throat> and that's, again, my opinion. It, maybe it'd change the style, too, if they did what I wanted them to right. do, too, which is you up it by about 5%. More percent. alcohol, more flavor, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it would no longer be a... Exactly. Uh, I mean, so like I said, with an asterisk. I'll, I'll drink this any day of the week as long as you give it to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna go out and buy it though. I, uh, I I'm enjoying it. I would probably give it a seven. I Maybe think I'm gonna be an eight. I mean, I was thinking seven or an eight, but that was also because like I'm going into it knowing what style it is. Kind and of, you've had it before and everything. And I'm, I'm a, sure I'm biased by my Nashville previous nostalgia. history. Sure. <laughs> well, I'll be in Nashville in July, so I'll stop by the brewery. I'm gonna be yes, there. This is a good stop in Nashville. They have a great. I mean, it, room, and I I, other than other than the fact that it is a rye porter, you know, they, they, you know, that's that's a that's a, an interesting style. Flavor wise, I just don't. You don't get enough of the rye porter side of it. It, the the flavor is it, there's nothing special about it. No, it's very really. subtle. I mean, it, yeah. it's a, it, it's a drinkable beer. It's perfectly fine. Like I said, I'll drink it any day of the week, but I'm not gonna see. I'm not gonna go buy it. Okay, so good, but not exciting. Yep, I think it's a good way to describe it. Uh, that's right. Sly Rye Porter gets a six on the BBA scale. I'm James Knott. Let us know what you think. Have you ever had this beer? Have you seen it at the store? Let us know in the comments section. My name is James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.